Welcome to the review by DJ Spear C. We have our SCX24. This is the Jeep version. Uh, I do have some modification I did on video for this guy here. If you want to go watch them, check my videos. Uh, but today, what I want to do is install this Ya Racing aluminum tire clip. Uh, basically, it replaces the one I have in the back right here. The one I have on right now, it is a 3D printed one. It probably would work as good as this guy here, but I said, why not? Looks awesome, and why not? Let's remove the one that's off the vehicle first. I'll need a two mil to remove the main screw that holds the tire there. These are bead locks from RC Four Wheel Drive. These are awesome. Now I took the liberty of removing a couple of screws off this one here. Uh, simple reason is with the wiring for the lights on the vehicle itself, it's hard to reopen the the lid completely to work on. What I did is. I removed three screws, I tilted it uh, to its side and put it one of the screws back because I'm keeping the stock axial uh, logo in the back here just to give me a little bit more uh, clearance to the back window. Now I'm just going to remove the mount completely off the vehicle because if you notice if you do have your Jeep and remove the four screws outside the vehicle itself. You'll notice there is a mount inside that these screw screws in that will fall off. Now, if you want to remove it, uh, go ahead. Easiest way I found is to remove the two screws that holds the body and remove the body and put it in your hands. A lot easier to work on, but you may not know, I do have lights here in the back and I do have lights in the front of this vehicle and there's a lot of wiring inside. Now I am planning in near future to, for this wire right here that powers the main lights, to put a connector on it to be able to easier to just remove it off the vehicle. But I did not have time to do it at the moment. Now we do have our 3D printed mount here. Uh, if you're wondering where to get this, you can get it on Thingiverse. They do have a lot of stuff for this vehicle. But let's open this guy here. And let's see if it's going to want to focus here. There we go. It's uh, pretty simple, non-expensive. A lot of stuff that Yaw Racing, uh, they do, they're awesome and really cheap. Because I do have a video on the Yaw Racing uh, Rock Guards. Love them. Now we'll grab our uh, aluminum piece here. Uh, you could put it up the other way around if you want to, but I'll try to keep the yaw racing facing outside. Uh, this guy here will be bolted here on top. Then your tire just goes right here. And I'll be a... not sure because they don't really give you instructions. But I'll, I will assume that yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. Black screw. It's probably a 1.5. There we go. Pop it in the back. Screw this guy in. I 
make sure it's tight. I don't want to go nowhere. Now, how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to put one screw in the corner again. Start screwing it in because these holes are very tight. And I'm just going to do one side, not going to fully tighten it. And I'm just going to tilt it to the side, remove this one right here. Now you'll notice these are very long screws. I didn't have any other ones when I did this. And I prefer to have it a little bit longer. That way I know she's not going to strip out of the plastic. Because these guys are just hold on plastic on plastic. And the RC four-wheel drive uh, wheel has a little bit weight to it. I'll add the two other ones. I don't think I need really to show you. But for what I'm seeing right now, this mount is nice. Now, could I have, have stuck with the 3D printed one? For sure, I could have. But why not? It's still the 3D printed one. They're nice. They're well made. Hats off, my hat's off to that person that created this mount. The 3D one, they did a good job on it. Okay, now I'm assuming this is going to be a 2 mil again. Correct. Now, the 3D printed one has a physical X on it. This one doesn't. They will just spins inside and the other thing I do like it, it stretches it out puts it a little bit further out compared to the, the 3d printed one uh, I don't know if you can see the difference here I kind of kind of like that because it might help me when I open the hood of the vehicle itself I'll show you here. Oh yeah, like that. Uh, with this guy here, when I was opening, he was hitting my bumper. Now I can open it a little bit, a little bit more. I do like that. Sorry. I might remove the uh, extra plastic, but I'll see how I like it. It puts it a lot further out of the door. Like a normal Jeep, your back, um, back tire is not, sit, not sitting on your back window. I'll see. But this is the Yaw Racing uh, aluminum tire clip for the Axial S6 24. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up at that corner. I appreciate it a lot. 
And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.